The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. Welcome back to the Blitz. We have Eric Rube in studio and it's a big night. Some great games. We've got to get to them all, but we're going to start with the blowouts. There were a couple blowouts and that was in Division 2. Cumberland and Barrington asserting themselves as the dominant forces in that division. They'll face off for the championship. So first, let's take a look at Cumberland's performance. What did you see from the Clippers that you liked? I saw what I've seen from the from them all season. They dominated with the run, dominated with defense, and they really never took their foot off the gas. The drives today, not a lot of big plays, just 10, 12 play drives, 8 clock. They finished with touchdowns. That was the biggest part. All right, switching to Barrington. Barrington, a very dominant performance, one handily in their game, uh, 29 to 8. So for that game, what did you see out of the Barrington side of things and how they were able to win decisively? Well, you know, there's, we've talked a lot about the Eagles and their offense and how dominant it's been, but the, the defense has really been sneaky good the entire season, and they showed up in a big way. St. Rayfields runs the ball a lot, and they were able to stop that run and keep them off the board. It makes life a little bit easier on the offense with the defense plays like that. Either of those games surprising at all to you? Uh, maybe the Cumberland game result was a little surprising just it, it, that it was a blow up but Burville was fighting in that game they were there till the end and then then the last touchdown kind of made it kind of iced things down but no not really early prediction for the championship oh I don't know I'm way gonna be changing this. it's too early for that <laughs> but maybe it might be Cumberland after the way they played tonight okay quickly down to division three fantastic finishes in both of those games West Warwick winning by one going for two at the end yeah, I mean, well, I we know talked you, about Joe Achardo ballsy, last right? <laughs> Joe Achardo last week going forward in the semifinal and now we got West Pennington saying yeah let's just win this game now and it's it's gr I mean good coaching to trust your guys he put the ball in the hand of the kid who can make the play James Branch running it in for two after scoring that touchdown there great great coaching there by West Pennington and then uh, Middletown with a big walk-off play there Put the ball in the hands of your best players. Throws the there jump ball out to R.J. Wiggins. R.J. Wiggins, 6'3". Apparently, that's good to play wide receiver. He made the catch. He made the run. He made the score. Okay, now we're going down to Division One because this was almost complete mayhem. We almost had a, an NK Central championship. Like, we were this close to that, which I think nobody would have predicted going into the no, night. No, because I've been told by everyone on the Internet that public schools can't play with private schools. That's what I've been told. But they can. If they put in the time, they put in the work, they put in the effort, this is what happens. North Kingstown showed they played tremendous. They needed to stop the run. They did. Central, they needed to come in and play tough, and they did right up until the end. I think the results were shocking. The kids at the, from Cumberland were asking me, like, what's the score? What's, they wanted to know what was going on while they're playing their own playoff game. It was wild tonight. What about Central? Se I mean, Central to fight. Mike Washington has told us his kids get up for these games. They want to play these big ones, and that was it there. They fought right to the end. A, a, a tough penalty, just a tough call to make in that situation. Yeah. I can't, the kids play. Yeah, you kind of once that penalty, once that flag was thrown, the game was over because Hendrickson's not missing extra points. He now, said Mike Washington after the game understood I, the call. He, you know, I, I talked to our reporter who was there, and he said that Mike Washington understood why the call was made. He didn't agree with it. He wanted to see the, the game kind of be decided by the kids rather than a flag because. Hendrickson's not missing that extra point. Everyone knows that. They, they could have made a stop on defense, obviously, but it's tough. We don't know what was said exactly on the field or what it was for, but it's, it's a tough call to make in that spot. All right, Eric Rube, thank you so much for joining us and all season long.